Hello, my name's Simeon Lindstead from the Old Malden Residence Group and tonight I'm here with Elliot Newton, the Biodiversity Officer at Kingston Council and we're on Malden Green and Malden Green is one of um, a few sites around the borough which are taking part in the Wild Ways project. So Elliot, can you give us a quick overview of the Wild Ways project please? Absolutely, thank you Simeon and hello everyone. Um, so our Wild Ways strategy is our pilot strategy which we're doing across the borough to try and enhance the wildlife and biodiversity value of our roadside verges, to try and combat the ecological collapse that we've seen in wildflowers. We've seen about 97% decline in wildflowers since 1945. So it's just our sort of process that we're doing at the moment in uh, eight trial sites across the neighbourhood, this being one across the borough, but this being of course one of them, where we uh, try and improve the taxonomic diversity of wildflowers in uh, our roadside verges. Okay, so I mean, up to date, this has been an area that's been sort of mown, sort of shorn quite short. What is the basic difference between a, a, an area of mown lawn and a wild meadow? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's how we modify and how we uh, uh, modify the, the landscape in terms of how we mow it and adapt our mowing regime. So it's not a case of just leaving it to grow. So what we really wanted to look at is the ecology. And the, the, the basics of ecology start in the soil. So with our wild waste strategy, what we're trying to do is actually lower the nitrate value of the soil, which really helps to encourage coarse grasses, things like coxfoots and poas and meadow, or meadow grass and um, a whole range of coarse grasses, which outcompete wildflowers. So what we're trying to do is actually remove nitrates from the system, which will then create a more, uh, 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 more a better environment in which wildflowers can express themselves where they're not going to be suppressed by really lots and lots of fast growing grasses. So typically uh, when we mow and mow grasses and we then leave the, leave the cuttings behind, those cuttings go back into the soil, enrich the grass, enrich the soil and then that means when it grows back it really profits those grassland species. However what we're trying to do is trying to reduce that nitrate value so we, uh, we, we, we let the grass grow as long as it can uh, and then we cut it and we don't just leave it here, we then take it away. And as you can see around me, this, this, this grass has got lots of, you know, there's lots of material here. So by taking this out of the system, we're actively reducing the nitrate value of the soil, which will profit a whole range of wildflowers who are able to express themselves. So we're currently in year one of the trial. And uh, this, uh, and this is a trial that has been, um, guide, give us, we've had guidance from a, a, a national expert called Dr. Philip Sterling, who now works at Butterfly Conservation Trust. Historically, he worked with Dorset Council as their main ecologist, where he really managed to uh, uh, sort of pioneer this methodology. And what he said, to try and lower this nitrate value, in year one, we want to try and do three cuts and, and then take those away. So we're just about, uh, as you, some of you might have seen across the borough, we were doing the first cut at the moment, where we're going to come along, cut this grass, take it out of the system, and we'll try and repeat that three times in the first year. And next year, hopefully we'll see less, less growth in terms of the height of the sward, which will enable a better environment for wildflowers to grow. That's fantastic. Now, now I think the big thing um, is, certainly from my point of view, is in terms of the, the difference, I suppose, to nature. But, you know, what, why do the whole project? Why, um, other than you're turning it into a wildflower meadow or a wild meadow, what, what's the benefit of the meadow? What, yeah. Why have it? Well, I think there's so many benefits. I think one is just appreciating the wildlife that we can find on our doorstep. If our wildflower verges could be these sort of more complex ecosystems, they support greater colour and diversity of flowers, more pollinators, and we're also actually working with Kingston University at the moment to look at the more sort of scientific elements of it. So we've got engaging a whole load of students led by uh, uh, their senior ecologist there called Kerry Brown, or Dr Kerry Brown, and we're not just looking at the improvements we hope to see from a biodiversity perspective, but also from an ecosystem service perspective. So we're thinking, will this process that we're doing here Will it actually change the composition of the soil in terms of will it make the, uh, the, the soil be able to hold more carbon? So therefore it can be part of our response to um, climate change. And uh, imagine that, you know, it would really be a positive thing, uh, uh, from not just uh, an aesthetic perspective, but also from a genuine um, health and climate change perspective too. Okay, now obviously we, we've, I've posted up on social media about this and generally we've had really positive um, comments about it. People sort of love the idea of this. We've had a, a few criticisms as well. What are the main criticisms that you're getting about this project sure. and what do you say to them? I think what, one criticism is obviously it's a, it's a change of management and it, to many it, it looks uh, messy and neglected. So what we really want to try and get across that this is not a neglected uh, methodology. This is very much a, a, a evidence-based 
uh, process that we're trying to do to benefit the borough from an environmental perspective and also from a community perspective too. Uh, so to demonstrate that we're not, we're, we're, we're not leaving them just to be uh, neglected sites, um, we'll also be framing some of the areas where so around the edges we'll be mowing it quite short to give it a nice sort of framing as if you would like frame a nice, a nice picture on your wall and some of the larger sites will also put walkthroughs through so people can walk, walk through. Um, uh, so we really want to try and help to change perceptions to try and say this isn't um, a mess, this isn't neglect, this is actually an active process that we're trying to do to, to improve the, 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 eco the ecological health of our borough generally. Fantastic, so with this scheme which is part of a trial, what would the larger long-term success be? Sure, so as I say we're working with Kingston University on this project which is really really great so we're going to be looking at the, the species change over time so as we sort of take uh, more nutrients out of the cycle these sort of more coarse grasses will hopefully become less present and less dominant and we'll start seeing a greater diversity of wildflowers uh, you know from trefoils to uh, campions to all, to, all, to all sorts of amazing self heels all sorts of uh, amazing wildflowers which are great for pollinators but also you know if we can demonstrate a genuine environmental benefit uh, from a climate change perspective that would be great too Fantastic. And finally, if um, the public want to get involved in any way, what would you what would you suggest they do? Yeah. Well, firstly, we want people to tell us what you think about what this change of uh, methodology, so it can inform the sort of strategy moving forward. If we, if we want roll it out wider, for example, or, or, or don't. Um, so we have a Let's Talk uh, page on uh, the Kingston uh, uh, website. So if you go uh, Let's Talk Kingston, Let's Talk slash Wildways, there's a whole bit of a whole page there which will tell you about. The, the, the trials and the, the sort of science behind it, but also there'll be a survey on there. And that survey will enable you to sort of give us your uh, feedback and impressions. And then uh, as also another thing that we'd love people to do is get involved and help us monitor it. So there's something called the online pollinator monitoring scheme. And we want people to come out here and uh, help us monitor the, the benefit to pollinators that we're, the, the, this approach will be doing. So, and there's lots of ways. Uh, so if you get onto that, let's talk. Uh, platform uh, you can find ways to contact us and I'll, I'll be happy to, to tell you more about it that's great Elliot thank you so much for coming down here tonight and um, a big thank you from the whole community for all the work you're doing locally it's absolutely fantastic oh, thank you Simeon <laughs>